Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the roads. Now yesterday or the day before we made a video about the condition of the roads outside the Rogers apartment building. Now the Rogers is on Waterloo, Waterloo Road in Kingston. Sorry, not what it's on Waterloo Avenue, which is off Waterloo Road. But the Rogers is the tallest building in Jamaica. It's a 24, it's a 20 floor building that's going to have luxury apartments. Now these apartments are going to cost millions. And we were talking about the condition of the road, saying that the government should really fix the road because people are going to be spending all this money to buy these apartments and when they buy the apartment the government is going to get transfer tax and stamp duty from the sale of the property so the government is going to make millions and then beside the Rogers is Genesis 28 another luxury apartment building although it's not 20 floors it's probably seven or eight and then beside that is parker's one another luxury apartment building which is probably seven or eight floors and then beside that is 20 south which is a 10 floor luxury apartment building so you have four luxury apartment buildings and the road the state of the road is terrible you can check out that video it's um i think the name of it is buildings billion dollar buildings in Jamaica so you can look at it and see the state of the road terrible now a lot of people commented that the government it's the construction equipment that is damaging the road but I would like to ask you guys a question shouldn't the road be built to a standard that can withstand that kind of equipment because to get the equipment from where it's located or where it's parked to the work site you drive it on the road i'm not sure how to do it in other countries but the only way to get this equipment from point a to point b is to drive it on the road so shouldn't the roads be built to a certain standard so that they can withstand that kind of equipment now look at this road this road was built by china harbor engineering company have you ever seen a pothole on this road i'm sure trucks heavy equipment use this road this is highway 2000 north south leg takes you from otrios to kingston i'm sure the heavy equipment uses this road also and you don't see it damaged I mean, mark you, this is a highway and Waterloo Avenue is a parochial road or community road. But I would think that they w would build the road to a certain standard so that the heavy equipment does not damage it. So guys, let me know what you think. And also, shouldn't... I mean, the road was bad before the construction started well no i shouldn't say that because i never drove on the road before the construction started but when they repair this road now chances are more high-rise buildings are going to go up in this area because if you have four luxury apartment buildings and they're all sold out i'm not sure if the rogers is sold out but the others are the land value there is going to go up and somebody is going to buy the property and put up another high rise building so is it that they should put a concrete road here would a concrete road do better with the heavy equipment i'm not sure i'm asking you guys do you think the government should put a road here that can withstand the heavy equipment better than this one because it's terrible and maybe they should invest in a concrete road but if a concrete road is stronger go ahead and fix the road now so that when people come to tour the building when it's finished you're driving on a good road it doesn't make it's going to i wouldn't say turn off but you have these nice buildings and the road to get on it it's 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 
it's terrible it's terrible i mean i'm sure the government can do better nwa has the technical expertise they have the technical people there was a road by benson ford in narbrook they kept it kept being damaged because it goes right down by the gully and they put in a concrete road and it was not damaged since they put in a concrete road so maybe some roads they need to change them to concrete roads i'm not sure but i just think that a road should be built to a certain standard so that heavy equipment does not damage it and this road is an example trailers 40 foot containers trucks use this road and the other highway to highway 2000 east west leg sometimes you see all a convoy of trucks full with load going on them and those roads aren't damaged so guys let us know what you think leave your comments in the section below all right guys have a good day